Well, thank you so much for joining us on the cafe. And Mike, you headed over to Mark's mm. restaurant the other day. Yeah, it was incredible, actually. I had the pleasure of catching up with celebrity chef Cara Martini about her latest foodie passion at Mark's O'Connell Street Bistro. Take a look. Karen, welcome to New Zealand. How are you? I'm um, very well, thank you, Mike. Thanks for having me. I'm going to start with a tricky question straight away. When you're in New Zealand, what is your go-to food? What's something that we have that you like to try? The white bait. <gasps> the fritters. Yeah, the white. They're so tiny and beautiful here. This is like heaven for white bait. Not, and are you just a simple egg, salt and pepper person? Or yes. Or do you use it up a bit? Uh, I love a fritter, so egg, egg white, yes. salt and pepper, not much else. Um, I'm a purist at heart. Um, I do, I have tried to dust them just lightly with semolina and flour and fry them off, but they do end up being more of a garnish, if you like, rather nice. than on their own, but thrown into a salad or that sort of thing. But I haven't had a chance to cook while I've been here this time. So <laughs> if I get the chance. I'm just dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, congratulations on all your success over the years. It's, it's been phenomenal. But what got me was the fact that at age 15 you took up work experience. Is that true? That's true. I did, you know, yeah, you used to be able to go out and choose where you go and test out a few occupations, if you like. I don't think it quite happens like that anymore. Um, but I did, I ended up in a, you know, three hat restaurant with Jacques Raymond, actually. Um, and I was hooked. I thought, this is the industry, this is the trade for me. No, I didn't think of it like that. I just never thought that cooking could be a profession, if you like. And um, much to the horror of my parents at a private girl school, I was like, I'm going to, you know, do an apprenticeship. Do you mind? Um, look, they encouraged me. They really thought I'd go back to school, though. So, But well, by the time I was 16 and a half, I'd start an apprenticeship. And that is great because that shows that if you love something and you want to give it a go, you just get in there, do some work experience, and here you are in New Zealand launching a new range of one of your products. I know, but you think there's been so much in between that time and now, and would I encourage my children to leave school so early? No, I would not. I've got two girls. It's a different world out there. But um, in saying that, I wouldn't be doing now what I'm doing if I didn't start then. So oh, we have just launched um, my granola. I never thought granola would be the first thing I'd get on the shelf, but um, it's a passion of mine that I've just been making it at home for years, and people would say, well, you should, you should bag that, you should sell that, and now we finally are. The whole world seems to be heading towards whole foods. That's what you've based this granola on. So how did you come up with it? Was it trial and error? Well, I've been, the recipe was developed quite a few years ago, so I wanted to compile my own, and I suppose I started with all the things I love. Did you trial it on some people? My children. <laughs> they're the biggest critics. They will be. They're not big on the Sultana front, so that they, they went out. Uh, and then eventually I got this the, the crunchy seed and nut, got the thumbs up because of the honey and, and the touch of coconut. And then the fruit based one, they love cranberries. So my girls, Stella and Amber, have driven this recipe, if you like. Oh, I love that. Yeah, well, it's, and my husband, he's Greek and very fussy. <laughs> Um, and I got the thumbs up from him too. So could it go either way here? Yeah. If my family likes it, everyone might hate it. But <laughs> right. well, you know what? It's, it was so ner I was a nerve-wracking process because I wanted what was in that box to be exactly the same recipe. And it's very different from doing a two kilo batch at home to doing a 700 kilo batch commercially. So there's been a lot of tweaking a lot of way along the way, and a lot of love has gone into shaping it so it can be done on a commercial level, but still be. Um, individual. Congratulations. Thank it's you very much. Fantastic that you've got your product on the shelves here in New Zealand and uh, I'm sure the country's going to lap it up. Breakfast is so. important and you've made it yummy and you are a fun person. First stop, Karen Martini Granola. And everyone should tell me how they granola too on a hashtag. It'd be good. Wow, well, she seemed lovely. Um, Cheers, cool. Yeah, but you, you weren't eating. Did Mark not cook for you? I know, I was waiting for him. Yeah, and you didn't bring any granola back for us. I was expecting at least a bit. Well, sorry, it was too delicious. I ate a lot. But Karen did give us three prize packs to give away, which you can't enter. Um, it includes her new granola range. So head along to our Facebook page if you would like the chance to win one of those.